Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to start for getting started with the Cypress with SQL. My SQL. How to integrate with the My SQL and how we can able to start at this all the things. Okay, this is a new playlist for this. Okay, for that I'm going to do for some small introduction about here. Okay, what exactly Cypress can do, what uh, MySQL and those points I'm going to discuss here. Okay, next video session, I'm going to show you how to install Cypress and how to install Cypress into MySQL and also in the local before configuration these two and how to install SQL server into your local. Okay, these are the points I'm going to show you in the next video session. Here, why I'm going to say uh, again, re repeating for the introduction about the Cypress, right? Because this is a new playlist. If somebody is coming for a new member, for them purpose I'm doing for here is starting introduction, one more type, okay? This completely for Cypress with the SQL, okay? This complete playlist for new, okay? And here is basically what Cypress can do that. Cypress is basically, it is an automation tool okay first point this is an automation tool and also it is like it supports for programming language as a javascript supporting programming language javascript and type script okay this is the one it is doing okay we can automate which is run under browser that all we can able to automate and also we can able to automate for API also. Okay. What are the things can run? Run on browser. What are the things can run on browser that we can able to, that we can able to automate. And also we can automate API. I already done for this UI and as well as API, both the concepts I done into my previous playlist. Okay, you can able to go and see there. I done for basic Cypress and as well as API automation and Cucumber framework integration. These are all the three concepts I done into them. Okay, you can able to see one by one. Okay, and here is basically it is also like a open source which is like Selenium, how it is open source, right? A similar form is Cypress also is a open source or software tool. Software tool. And also here, uh, there is a one thing we need to remember. This Cypress does not use Selenium commands. Does not use for Selenium commands. It is completely it will uh, use for Cypress things. Why it does not use it? The first question definitely will get it right. The point we can able to say Selenium, if you run for Selenium's automation script, automation script, what will happen? This automation script basically whenever you run any automation script by using the browser, Selenium it will open for separate separate browser okay in the separate browser once you close the browser it automatically will close in case in middle your execution is middle is there but you change something but if you want to see that impact which is the one you modify the code that if you want to see into the browser immediately the same run it will not happen because selenium will completely open for individual browsers the program will open the browser and it will start the execution, but it will not in middle. If you want to execute something, it will not happen. But in a Cypress, once Cypress is open a browser, you are doing the something execution, but in middle something web element is not a, a presented, but you just find that web element after running the script failing and you just modify and the same script, once you save into that, uh, which is the ID you are going to use, right? In that ID, if you are uh, once is modified and saved it, and automatically browser will be work. Means same instant, we can able to work with n number of times. 
Cypress will work for one time in a program. If once your program runs and the program is end, then you have to reopen one more time for the new browser. But Cypress, it's not like that. We can able to do n number of times in the same browser. That is a main advantage we have. Okay. And also it is having a own time handling. Okay. We can able to handle for own. Okay. And also we can able to make it some customized time also. Custom time also. We can set. Both the things we can able to. Okay. And also it is supporting some browsers. Supporting browsers. Now like uh, Chrome it is supporting. And also Electro is the one browser. It's a default browser. It is uh, once you choose for Electro what will happen. It will run under background. It's completely background in the back side. You can't see that UI. The background it will execute what are the things you have done the execution all the things it will execute for backend Okay, and Microsoft edge and also Firefox These are the browsers it is supporting. Okay, and Opera, Safira those things is not supporting right now Okay in the future it will support for those things also Okay, maybe it will like a uh, next new versions time. Maybe they can able to integrate with that also Okay and it is having mocha mocha programming mocha programming mocha is uh, like one kind of uh, the same like a j unit j unit and test ng type okay how test ng uh, j unit will work right the similar form of mocha also will work and also mocha can run our test cases we can able to use Mojo to run our test cases. This is the one happen. Okay. What other features can have that this particular Cypress? If you save the futures, futures is basically time travel. Time travel. Cypress can take the snapshot as your test cases and over command in the command logs and see exactly what happened each step means we can able to time travel time travel is nothing but you have uh, imagine on a test case you have 100 lines uh, code lines code okay in this lines code what will happen your execution is completed but you want to see the step by step okay you can move over into the particular step which step you want to see that it will show you the commands in the browser and what exactly you've done in the particular step place. Okay, this is the one having for uh, time traveling. Okay, and each execution you can able to see, but in Selenium you can't able to find this one. Once you executed at the browser is closed, you can't see that. You have to keep it some logs and store into the file and then you have to check the step by step where it is executing. But you can in that uh, Cypress having a time traveling, you can able to see all the steps one by one. Okay, backward and forward. And here is debugability. Debugability. And it is debugability is one kind of like a stop guessing where why your test cases are failing. The directly we can able to go to the tool developer tools so developer tool is nothing but if you open this particular one and you want to see here you can able to use the de uh, developer tools right the similar format which is the browser it is open for cypress in the same browser you can able to open for developer tools and you can able to track that entire traces where it is failing why it is failing and watch like the, whether the element is not visible or element is not presented or element is in a uh, like a dynamic path is presented like that we can able to see it okay this is one kind of thing okay and after that we can able to see automatic waiting and we can able to see like in any other programming language we need, need to specify some timelines this much time you want to use and this all the things we are going to use it right but in cypress it is not happened it is having default timeout it will take the some default timeout 
and after that if it is not uh, presented then it will show for timeout okay even you can able to add it for uh member uh customized timeout also we can able to do it okay and next one is spaces and stubs stubs and clocks it is basically what will happen uh, each and every function it is connected with the stubs and clocks and everything and the functionality you can able to learn for unit testing is uh, right to the fingerprint like whenever you want to communicate some stubs related uh, endpoints right you can able to easily to communicate with the things and even the clockwise you can able to do it very fast and we, we have for network traffic control also this is a big tricky in uh, cypress traffic control <laughs> means in case if your particular test case having something issue okay something the issue happen uh, that particular uh, uh, url got something failed then what will happen you can able to make it some network traffic by using stubs using for the stubs you can able to create a dummy url and that dummy url you can able to integrate and you can able to do it for automation that is a way we can able to easily you can able to do for network traffic okay <laughs> and consisting results this is a more important consisting uh, result is nothing but once you run one script until all the elements are failing like all the elements are changed or something element is changed until that how many times you are running that particular script but script that many times it will give for pass and okay once the script is passed until the web elements not finding then it will pass it if something a developer is change in the back end the elements then you may be get for some failures otherwise you can't able to means once you the test case is passed until uh, changing every time the script will be passed how many times you are going to write that many times it will pass it okay and next future is screenshot screenshot and video if this screenshot and video you will get it for cypress a default thing once you run something and each and every step like once the uh, entire script is execution is completed all the script execution is completed each script one it will record one video and keep it and also it will take if it is fail then it will take for the screenshot of that particular element why it is failing where it is failing you can able to easily understand by using screenshot or is can able to see for video okay and next one is cross browser testing cross browser testing also it is providing and we have for chrome firefox edge jellotro is there based upon that we can able to use it in our things okay <laughs> and after that we can able to do for mysql what mysql can do that see basically what is mysql means it is a database okay database when we can able to use some applications they want to store the information from the db and they need to access the data from uh, db and compare with the ui that both the ui and database value should matches then if it is match then your test case got passed if the test case like data db values or test case which is the ui is coming or api values are coming if both are not matching then the test case will go for, for fail okay there is a case we can able to use for db and also some people can do for database performance testing or something testing for that uh, particular uh, ui element once you enter something value that elements whether it is uh, stored into a db or not if that stored the db the value which is presented from like uh, sending from the ui the same value which is presented in a db or not the particular table or not this all the things we can able to test it by using the db <laughs> okay and my sql we are going to do for some basic setup and then that setup 
we need to add some plugin into the Cypress. That plugin, it will communicate with the, your SQL. And that SQL, we can able to easily to understand like uh, flowing that, like communication, it's very easy to do it. Okay. And next video session, I will show you like how to install MySQL and then how to integrate with the DBware for MySQL. These are the two concepts I'm going to show you in a next video session. Okay. I hope it you understand this one. And please like me, please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.